Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So, this one is going to be probably really cringy. So, I'm going to be reacting to one of my um, older vlogs from like nine months ago maybe. And, um, it is going to be my vlog where I get my guinea pig, Wilson. So, I feel like this one's going to be interesting because my vlogs back then, first of all, were just not very good in the first place. And then, um, also, I did some things wrong, so, yeah, I have my computer here, and we are going to pull up this video. So, I believe this is screen recording now, but this vlog is called I Got a Guinea Pig. So, let's just get started. Yeah, that's gonna change too. That's. But we're going to home can dress shopping. I talk so quiet. And why am I making these faces? Okay. First of all, um, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to take them out in the car. Obviously, I didn't know that, um, and he seemed fine, and he's been fine, but um, I do want to address that. Um, I now know that you're not supposed to do that. Um, so, yeah, first mistake right there. So, guys, we went to shopping, I mean, we did some other shopping, and I also got a guinea pig. So, this is his cage. We got him to chew toys, food, you know, we got him on the nest. Cage, she's got water. That's not a really nice cage. Um, I thought it was really big, but I didn't know how much space they actually needed. And if you watch my vlogs, you know that I got him a much bigger one recently. But yeah, that one is too small. It is um, advertised for rabbits. Um, so I was like, okay, this is really big. That's a good idea. Um, but it is a pet store cage, um, and you shouldn't buy pet store cages. But, yeah, um, at least I got him two toys. Okay. There was vitamin C in it, and... You're also not supposed to do that, I found out. Um, well, you can, but... You don't know how much vitamin C they're going to get and if they're eating like their hay and their food has vitamin C in it then they should be fine. They don't really need that. And hey, he's in there with his nervous. Yeah, I was putting on a call and stuff. And I got a little carrier here. So, yeah, I'll show you who the clothes that I got later too. But, yeah. And this cage also has like a flip down thing and then a playpen for him to like run around and when I'm not like paying attention, like when I'm not like watching him, you know, but he, I'm not putting it out now because I'm just going to let him sit in there and get used to it. It's called acclimating. Yeah, I'm just going to chill. And At least I knew him. that. So I'm to give him the call. So. Look at how small he was. You can definitely tell that he is very nervous here. Um, he was, we let him stay in the cage for like three days, I think, without like us touching him or anything. Um, but here I had gotten him out and you can definitely tell that he's nervous, but I do, if you want to be able to handle your guinea pigs, I do recommend um, starting handling them young. So like Wilson will literally like weak at me um, until I take him out of his cage sometimes, like and hold him. So. Um, I think that's partially because I've been doing it since he was little, but, yeah, you can definitely tell he's very nervous here, though. <laughs> he, 
he did that from day one. Like, he would, anytime I laid down, he crawled up, like, into my armpit, and he would, whenever I was, like, holding him, he always crawled up on my shoulder, and, like, he has always watched YouTube videos with me. It's so, like, weird. Like, sometimes when I'm, like, holding him and I watch YouTube videos, he'll crawl up on my shoulder and then turn around and look at the screen. Like, it's so funny. Wilson, that's his name, by the way. We're just watching some YouTube and I think he's afraid of storms because it's storming outside and it's so shaky. But like he has already connected to me, so like when he got scared of like a noise like somebody like coming towards my arm, he would run up like under my arm. So like I think he already knows that like he can he can be comfortable with me. I don't know, but he's so cute. He's just been laying here. He was so small. So. He's so precious. We're just hanging out. But yeah, I think he's a finished guy. Okay, who let me make my hair not blonde, by the way? Like, who let me dye it? Which, I love the color and stuff, but, like, my hair looks so good blonde. Whatever. Anyway, continue. It's very shaky right now. He hasn't been shaky with me at all since I got it. This was first night. Maybe we didn't leave him in the thing. Well, that's not good. You should definitely let them get used to their area quickly um i thought we left him in there maybe i just had him out this day and then i left him in i don't know i don't know but he's so cute and he's so fluffy you probably don't care i'll just admire him by myself i can't tell what this dude is chewing on i'm confused hello My double chin. <gasps> oh, not in the blanket. <laughs> From day one, he has, like, crawled into blankets, like, he loves blankets. And now, like, whenever I lay with him, he, like, goes under the blanket and just, like, sleeps down there. Like, it's just, like, he'll, like, go up against my legs and sleep. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how to stop this. Oh. So, that is me reacting to my vlog where I get a guinea pig. Um, I did make a lot of mistakes. You definitely need a really big cage for your guinea pigs. If you think it's really big, I mean, double check. Wilson's cage right now is 10 and a half square feet. That's um, a good amount for two guinea pigs because we are planning on getting another one in the future. Um, after, like, the quarantine is done, obviously we can't go get one right now. Um, also, you do need to get them in pairs. That was another big mistake that I made. Um, they're supposed to be in pairs. So, <laughs> also do your research before getting a guinea pig. A lot of the times, the things that the pet store employees tell you are not always accurate, and it can, you know, be harmful for your guinea pig if, like, you get a pet store cage and it's not big enough. So, I definitely recommend doing your research and stuff like that. Um, don't make the mistakes I did. I'm just making this video to help you guys out and to make fun of myself a little bit because like... But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, be sure to subscribe down below and give it a thumbs up and um, yeah, I post every Sunday so... Stay tuned, you can turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. And yeah, if you have any questions or anything you want to tell me about how to take care of my guinea pig better, um, I'm always, you know, looking for advice or giving advice, whatever you want. You can always comment down below. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week.